Hi everyone, Andrew here. It's been a while since I've done a vlog, so today myself and Paul are off to Newport to go and have a look for some bits and pieces. A new sofa is one of them. Obviously that's not very exciting, but there'll be some other stuff. We can have lunch uh, and wander around. So little Peanut is going down to her grandparents. As you can see, she's already in her little car seat. Just a, a little note that uh, we had some, we've had some posts today. And this is um, something for Paul. Do you want to open it? Yes. So Paul's going to open that now and we'll have a look at it. Let me just back off because... There we are. So... I don't know why the camera's not focusing very well, that's better, there we are. So hold it up then for us to see Paulie. There you go. So this is Nirvana Unplugged in New York on vinyl, um, which I bought for Paul because he has given up smoking and he has done over a week without having a single cigarette. So well done Paul, way! Oh, wow. So that's a little present for him for not having a smoke for, well it's almost two weeks now isn't it? Yeah. So you will see this record again when I show you our record collection, which has been a video that I have been asked to do and will be being done soon. So we're going to pop Peanut in the car, head off to Nanny and Grandad's, and then Newport, here we come. Yeah, so here we are. Peanut is snugly ensconced in her travel car at Nanny's. Um, if you just put that in my bag. Um, I'm going to post a card for my mum because Dad forgot to take it. <laughs> when he went out to Tesco. Mm. We were going past the post office in Newport, so I'll pop it in there. Okay. Because there's one in the Kingsway Centre now. Oh, look, she's moving. Oh, She's waving at us. <laughs> there she is, all sleepy and cute. So we're going to head off to Newport now um, and leave my peanut in the capable hands of my mother, who's amazing, and we love her. And we're going to have a wander around. Well, we made it to Newport. It's not a very nice day out there. i got to be honest, it's a bit grey. It's a bit drizzly. But we're here. What floor are we on, Paul? I never even noticed. Ah, four. Is it four? Or is it three? Is it four or is it three? <laughs> Oops, we don't know what floor we're on. Hang on a second, we'll find out when we get to the door. doesn't say. Four. We're on four. Oh, we're on four. Right. We want to go down. <laughs> Who's going to be first? It's going to be this one. Oh, no, it's not. It's gone up to five. It is going to be this one. No, he's gone up to five. Everybody's gone up to five. So we've just come out of the Kingsway Centre, and you can see that that building had a big fire not long back. And behind us is the Dolman Theatre. And this week it's Crown Matrimonial, the 10th to the 14th. So it starts today if you're in the area, go see it. There's some great people in it. So we're going to head off down that street to go to um, Jewel Street Finishes. The new Lahore, or the Lahore as they're now calling it. Great curry house. Been there loads. Usually after a theatre production, but not always. We sometimes just go in there anyway. Highly recommend it. So we'll have a bit more of a look at this, this building now. There we go. Now I can remember when we were rehearsing for Weird Sisters, there was a fire in that building. Because we were watching it from the rehearsal studio. There we go, Mickey Mouse with a, a gun. Not sure that Disney would approve. But uh, I thought I'd show you it. 
bit of Newport Street art, oh, typical really. Just saying to Paul that over there is a restaurant called Hattie, it's another Indian and it's very nice. We went there just before my birthday last year with the guys from work and even, even the restaurant gave us a birthday card and a box of chocolates. And we're outside George Street Furniture's now, as you can see. And this is their car park, which is where I would normally park, but because we're going into town afterwards, I've left it at the Kingsway Centre. But they leave the car park unlocked, so at night, if you're going to Hattie and you're driving, you can park here for free. Fantastic. We like it. So we are now going to go into George Street Furnishers. It's absolutely pissing down now, unfortunately. Now, we have ordered our sofa. It's going to be about 16 to 20 weeks because it's got to be made because we've ordered a different colour leather. And it's a recliner three-seater sofa. We're very excited. Uh, and we'll show you it when it comes in, won't we, Paul? Yes, we'll. yes we will. <laughs> We're now going to wander back the other way to town and uh, maybe have some lunch now or do you want lunch now? Or do yeah. You yeah, we're going to have well, some lunch. No, we'll no? Look. We'll have a look. If you look just up there, you can see that building right in front of us. That used to be my office building. It's where Yal had their one of their call centres for 118 24-7. Worked there for four years. Till they uh, moved offshore. It's always a bit weird coming back here. But we're going to head back that way now. In the rain. It's time for lunch. So we're going to go in TGI Fridays. And I'm going to have ribs because I kind of like them. What are you going to have? Steak? Steak. Steak and some ribs. Obviously. And it's still raining, that's where we're going now. Hopefully it might stop. We have been in a shop and we have bought something, but we'll show you everything we bought when we get home, won't we? Yes, please. Yeah. Let's eat. But not just in TGI's, if you go to the restrooms, if you're a lady, you have to go through Marilyn. But if you're a man, you have to go through Elvis. That's pretty cool. I've also noticed over here in the corner, they have some fantastic old posters, including Seven Year Rich. Oh, and Clamity Jane, but she's behind a mirror. So here's the food, and for me, it's a full rack of barbecue ribs, and Paul's got a steak. I'm a bit close, and a salad. Guess who's healthier? So food's done. And now it's time to have a look around the shop, see what we can find. The camera's not focusing again, I don't know why. Let's have a look in a minute. So this is Friars Walk. Lots of shops. Yay. Uh, it's still raining a little bit, isn't it, Paul? Yes, Paul. But we're headed down to the provisions market to have a quick look in there. It's not raining as badly as it was though, it's a lot better. Yeah. Well she's still there at the moment, she was talking about closing because of the rent, but uh, the good thing is she's still there and she's very good. That's where you get your trousers done, isn't it Paul? Yeah. <laughs> Here we are. This is on the 21st of April, which is record store day. It's the 21st of April, so we will be there. Track mark, this has been here as long as I can remember, if not in this particular location. It's very dark in here. Then upstairs, it used to be upstairs. But, uh, hiya. I've been shopping at this place either for records, CDs or books since the 1990s. So yeah, this place has records. It's not very bright in here, but we're going to have a quick look through them. Dusty! See you, bye. So, we just went in the luggage centre to buy a rucksack. I don't know why it's so dark, but it is. It seems to be very dark. I think it's just because it's overcast. Um, to buy a rucksack, um, to put peas stuff in. And um, I came out, Paul's buying the rucksack, I came out with two Elvis t-shirts because they're on buy one get one half price and they're £10 each. So I got two for 15 and I'll show you them later. And my mum's going to want to steal them so I better not show them to her. So we're now we're going to go to the works to look for some gel pens and then we're going to go to Diverse Vinyl to look at the records, aren't we? Okay. See, a rucksack. 
very dark on this camera today. Anywho, let's keep going. Okay, Michelle, your book's in here for three pounds. You can't see it. I don't know why it's really dark in here. I don't know what's going on with my camera. I'm gonna have to have a quick look at it. Alright, so we're heading up Charles Street now to have a look at diverse records or vinyl. So which is up here, past the job centre. So let's have a look. So Langton's used to be a antique centre and it closed, which is a shame because it was brilliant. So they just pop up here. It's not too steep a hill, which is good. Past the uh, camera centre. I'm nearly there. Here it is. Diverse. As you can see, they're advertising record store day. Of course. Excellent. We're going to go and have a look. So we're back now. Paul, stop making faces on YouTube. Peace to sleep in a car seat because we've literally just got through the door. But let's see what we bought, shall we? So I bought the complete Bagpus. Bagpus on DVD. If you are of a certain age, you'll know exactly what Bagpus is. I got this from That Entertainment, and it's a real shame because it's closing down. It's a great shop for cheap CDs, DVDs, etc. Paul bought two CDs, two suede CDs. Dogman Star and whatever the other one's called. He also got two Elvis t-shirts. They were buy one get one half price so it came to $7.50 each so there's that one which just says the King of Rock and Roll on it and it's got his face and then this one has if I can get it open for you Jailhouse Rock. I really like that one. I have got some vinyl as well so I'll get that out and show you that next. So, like I said, I bought some records. This one, the top one, which is a bit of a silly one, really, I actually got from eBay. Um, when I was a kid, my mum had this on cassette and I loved it. Anyone of a certain age will remember Russ Abbott's Madhouse. And each week they do a parody of a song, so they'd, uh, you know, call, have different names. So they'd have, um, you have the reason for leaving Val Hooligan and the other three, the four bottoms. Uh, a real man ready cash so sort of like Johnny Cash type thing and then there's I just remember it from when I was a kid and it's just so much fun that I had to, had to get a copy of it on vinyl I bought a, si a 7 inch single which is Martika I Feel the Earth Move again an 80s one was only 25p uh, from Troutmark and uh, I got Julie Andrews Thoroughly Modern Millie original soundtrack is not the covers not in brilliant condition but it does have the original insert in it if I can get that out oh, well, there is I can't get it out one-handed but uh, I should have put the camera on a tripod really but there is the 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 insert about the film which starred Julie Andrews so it's nice that that's actually still in there because that's the sort of thing that goes missing and the last thing I bought was from Diverse Records Diverse music, diverse vinyl, um, and that's Elvis Presley, The Searcher, which is the new soundtrack album to the HBO uh, two-part documentary. It was £21, which is about the same price as it goes through on, for on Amazon, so I thought I'd get it from um, Diverse so that I can, you know, support your local businesses. It's great. It's got to be done. So that's what I got. We're going to go and give those a clean, because you should always clean them, and then give them a play, including... The Nirvana one, because I'm pretty sure Paul wants to hear that. And that's pretty much it for today. I will say that I do apologise for the issue with the lighting. It went really dark. I found out that the reason for that was I'd knocked the, the dial from 
A to P to program. It's now back on A. Next time if that happens again, I'll know what to look for. So that's it from today. I hope you've enjoyed this apart from the dark bit. And just before we go, there's little P. Little cute Jennifer shot. She's a little smiley. And I'll see you all soon. So bye now.